Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm on a keto low carb diet and I have such a huge sweet tooth. So I am all about finding alternatives to desserts and all different kinds of sweets. Today we're gonna be making a low carb, keto friendly chocolate chip cookie and we can jump right in. So I am preheating my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. We can start mixing our ingredients, guys. This is gonna be super, super easy, super, super tasty. And your kids, if you have kids or even yourself, you won't even realize that this is not like the OG chocolate chip cookie. All right, so right here I have almond flour. And of course you guys know, I'm gonna include all the ingredients in the description below all of the uh, measurements in the description below and how many portions, we'll see how many portions it makes right here, okay? So almond flour, I'm gonna start mixing the dry ingredients. Here I have a stevia monk fruit sweetener, so it is an artificial sweetener. We are not using sugar here, guys. Keeping it keto friendly. All right, we have the sugar in there. Right here, this is some salt. And then right here, I have some baking soda, not baking powder, All right? So baking soda, let's add that in there. All right, put that aside and let's whisk our dry ingredients together, making sure they are fully combined. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna take some coconut oil. I have melted the coconut oil, it is not hot. It is just to the point that it has melted. All right. And mix that all together. It is now starting to form a batter, as you can see. All right, now that that is whisked in, I've changed to a spatula. I am going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Drop that right in there. All right, we're gonna add our chocolate chips. I am using, uns uh, well, they're artificially sweetened, stevia sweetened chocolate chips. I'll include which ones I use in the description below. And we're gonna mix this together just until combined. I love finding all of these new alternatives, doing keto and low carb. Even like, you know, five, six, seven years ago, it was so hard to find different kinds of alternatives. And now there's like a million different options that you can choose from. All right, so that is mixed. And then here I have some almond milk. So I'm gonna add my almond milk in. All right, let's start actually forming our cookies. So I have my tray here in front of me and I'm using my favorite avocado oil spray. You guys already know I love this brand so much. We're gonna spray our baking pan. Perfect. It's a non-stick baking pan, but just in case we wanna spray it with a, just a little bit amount of oil. All right, and then I am going to take a spoon so we can start forming the actual cookie sizes. This is about how big you want your cookie to be. So I'm gonna just scoop it into my hand like this. All right. And start forming it into the shape of a cookie. If you want bigger cookies, you can make bigger ones. If you want little ones, you can make them this size. All right, perfect. Just like this, all right. Great, let's put that down and let's do that for the rest of our cookies. All right, so I am pressing down just a little bit to flatten them a little. And this is what it's gonna look like once it's on your tray. So now we're going to take this, throw it into the oven. It's like I said, it's already been preheating to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Check at 10 minutes, see if it needs the full 12 minutes. They should be nice and golden when they're done. All right, let's take these into the oven. Let's 
See you in 10 minutes. All right, I baked it for the full 12 minutes. Let's take it out of the oven. Oh my God, guys, it smells so, so good in here. Take a look at that. They are done. Now we have to let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. They are super fragile, and I know they don't look like they're fully ready when you take them out of the oven, but you have to let them rest because they finish cooking as they're resting. All right, guys, it is all done. Look at this. They look absolutely delicious. It, they smell absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to try them. Let's take this one right here, take a little bite. Mmm. Guys, look at this. Mmm. Super chewy. Nice and sweet, not too sweet. Delicious. I've tried so many different kinds of recipes for cookies. The hard thing when you have almond flour sometimes is you know, it's not, it doesn't stick well enough or, you know, it's too grainy. This ratio is absolutely perfect and you can play with the size. You can make the cookies bigger. You can do like, I mean, I don't know how you can try to get smaller than this, but you could probably try to make them smaller if you wanted to, but the consistency is exactly what you are looking for. It cuts that craving that I know you all have. I have such a huge sweet tooth, so this is the perfect thing. You could probably also make little ice cream sandwiches with it if you want. I mean, fun for the whole family, delicious for the whole family, and you wouldn't even miss the original thing. They're so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.